So, apparently Apple is working on a VR headset, at least that's according to rumors. One report in particular is disclosing some very specific details about this product. It should be very expensive, but not just the usual, a bit more expensive than the competition. Apparently it should cost $3,000. When there are similar rumors about Apple products, you always see people guessing ridiculously high prices. Those guesses are completely unrealistic 99% of the times. This time though, I have seen people consistently guessing prices they thought were too high, but were still way, way lower than $3,000. It's this ridiculous. The report also states that it should be standalone like the Oculus Quest, the bare minimum for such an expensive device. It should be extremely powerful and it should have two 8K displays, one for each eye. Some of the prototypes have a fan. Okay. Also, it's meant to be lightweight somehow. By now, you should already know how it works on this channel. So, here's the concept. If you are watching this video, you have probably already seen that sketch made by one of the leakers. Why doesn't my concept look like that? Because I really don't like this design. Also, it's not that important in this case, and you'll see why shortly. But first, let me be certain that you all understand this. VR and AR are different things. I have seen way too many people that don't get this. Virtual reality, or VR, is when the device, usually an headset, makes you only see the virtual world. The real world disappears completely, basically Matrix, Ready Player One, that kind of stuff. There already are VR headsets meant for the general public, like the Oculus Quest. Augmented reality, or AR, is when you still mainly see the real world, but with some stuff overlaid on top of it, like Pokemon Go, for example. AR is mainly done with smartphones for now, and it sucks. There are some augmented reality headsets, but they are really pricey, because they are meant for companies. If you heard about the Apple Glass, they are meant to be an AR headset in the form of a pair of glasses. But what I am talking about in this video is not that. It's a VR headset. Now that I've got that out of the way, let's discuss the rumor. This rumor makes no sense to me. It's not even just the price that is insane, because with those specs, let's be honest here, it wouldn't even be that overpriced. Two 8K displays, a chip that can actually make good use of them, with a decent battery life, all of this in a thin and lightweight body. I am not saying that all of this stuff wouldn't be worth $3,000, but that nobody would buy it. You can't just make an insanely expensive product because you know how to do it. The point is selling it to make a profit, but what would even be the market for that? VR's main utility is entertainment, specifically gaming. And even ignoring the fact that Apple is in the gaming market only as a side effect of the App Store, even assuming that they are willing to make partnerships with other companies to get all the major VR software on their headset, who would ever buy it when there is the Oculus Quest at one tenth of the price? VR is already a niche market. This would be the niche of the niche. And even if with flawless marketing they were somehow able to get everyone to suddenly care about VR, that could actually have the side effect of pushing Facebook's Oculus Quest instead. And by the way, they can't just sell it as a luxury product. Consumer technology doesn't work like this. You can make overpriced eye beast shoes, luxury clothing, or jewelry, or stuff in general because they are products that you only buy once and that's it. But a VR headset isn't just a product. It's a platform. You don't buy your iPhone just to look at it, right? You buy it to use the apps that are on the App Store. Because there is that app ecosystem, the product can exist. And the ecosystem can exist because the price of the iPhone is still reachable for many people. The platform is used by a ton of people, so for developers it makes sense to create apps for it. But according to those same rumors, Apple expects to sell just one unit per store each day with numbers so low why would anyone bother making apps for this platform? Also, I mean, there's the fact that Tim Cook himself said that he doesn't like VR very much. 
if for whatever reason they wanted so hard to enter the VR market now, because they all had a collective epiphany or something, it would make way more sense to create a device to compete with the Quest, with comparable price and specs, but with their own style and OS, because it's Apple. And this is what I did here. Not some crazy thin but still powerful yet cheap headset, but just a normal VR headset in Apple style. Or at least that's what I try to mimic. The black oval isn't just for looks by the way, it's where I think the cameras could be hidden. And those lenses could be swapped for graduated ones for people who need glasses. That is actually one of the rumored features of the headset. A realistic but still decent price for this, considering that we are talking about Apple, in my opinion would be $499. The headset described by the rumors makes no sense though. The more I think about it, the less logical it becomes to me. Is this just a completely fake news invented by the leakers? Yeah, it could be. But thinking about it, this is not the first and probably won't be the last time we hear about alleged Apple headsets. I remember there was this rumor about an AR and VR headset from one source, then another source said that they were working on AR only glasses. By the way, while I was making this video, this other rumor, from this analyst whose name I'm not even trying to pronounce, appeared from nowhere describing a similar product, with the key difference being the price of just $1000. As a standalone rumor, it's obviously much more reasonable, and it's also other evidence for what I am going to say now. We heard many conflicting reports, but if there is one thing I am pretty sure about, is that they are working on something big AR related. Just look at all the companies they acquired, all the progress with AR kit, the addition of the LiDAR scanner in iPhones and iPads, while to be honest, AR is pretty useless on those devices, it's obvious that they are at the very least working on something, something that may just will be their next big thing. So. We all know how easily stuff leaks out to the public. We knew about the iPhone 11 camera layout just mere months after the previous model's announcement. We knew about the iPhone 12's design change months and months in advance. We knew about the AirPods Max design, the Apple Silicon transition. It's a mess. Of course, Apple knows about the situation. So, this might sound like a stretch, and it probably is, but what if they are actually the ones creating those? Rumors, there is not much they can do to avoid information from leaking, but by burying that information in junk, they can obtain a similar effect. Maybe the general idea of something new VR or AR related will remain in the air, because remember, many people don't even know the difference, but people won't really have a clear idea of what to expect. And actually, if the real deal ends up being better than their expectations, maybe by not costing, you know, $3,000? That could be better for sales. Yes, I know, this is purely speculation, but I really can't think of many other options. In the end, as I already said in this video, I don't think Apple is going to sell a VR headset anytime soon. But there is one company other than Facebook and Sony that I could definitely see doing it. If you want to know what I am talking about, stay tuned, because it'll be one of my next videos. For now, you can watch all the other stuff on this channel, and now for the part where I should get you to interact as much as possible with the video so that YouTube spams it to everyone. If you enjoyed this video you can give it a like.